Hello traders, hello investors, how are you doing today my friends? Welcome to another video here in the Finance Hydra channel. Today we are going to talk about Tesla. Let's see how Tesla is reacting, what's the deal with it. But first, if you are already my subscriber, remember my friend to click on the like button. And if you are not our subscriber, if you are new around here, subscribe at this channel. Because again, I think you're going to like our content. Now, let's analyze Tesla. In the one hour chart, Tesla did what was kind of expected. It bounced back up to its 21 EMA as usual. What's more, the EMA area is near this black line, which was this previous support level. We bounced back up to this dual resistance price level. And right now we are dropping again. If we analyze this pie, the QQQ, they're all triggering their bearish structures. Tesla is not yet. So Tesla it is quite resilient in the short term. Yes, it is. But I do believe Tesla is going to trigger this bearish structure and it has very good chances of filling this gap over here, which has yet to be filled at $847, okay? Today's low was $850. Wow, that was, a, that was quite close. But I do believe Tesla is going to fill this gap for good. Then we will see how to proceed. I do not see any crystal clear buy sign on Tesla right now, but I find selling it at this price level quite risky. A good time to sell Tesla was near 1208, okay? That was a good point to sell. Right now, if you want to short Tesla, this makes zero sense to me, all right? Because the risk reward ratio makes no sense. So I do not think it is a good idea to short it, but I do not see any good reason to buy it. So I am neutral in Tesla in the short term, but uh, knowing that we are near support levels and in the midterm, when we analyze the, the daily chart, we see that Tesla had a very rough time in breaking the EMA. It could not break the EMA at any moment. And uh, right now we are dropping again. However, I find quite curious how low this volume was okay it was a very low volume so i am not happy with that i believe tesla is dropping only because it lacks momentum instead of uh, there are people actually selling it because again no one is selling tesla right now because it makes no sense it feels like it is just the lack of momentum that is making this annoying movement and this is how i see tesla right now when we when we analyze the daily chart along with the weekly chart we see an even stronger pattern we see that tesla retested this purple line in the weekly chart along with the 900 area. So right now we are near support level. If Tesla is about to react, it's gonna be right now. Now is the best time for us to see a bullish candlestick over here, a bullish structure in the one hour chart, because if we do, Tesla has everything, everything to fly again to the 1K area. Okay, so this is all. This is how I see Tesla recovering. It's the only way that I see it recovering right now, in the short term at least. We must react. We must react quickly, at least this week, okay, by Friday. If we don't, all right, maybe Tesla will reverse the trend. Maybe Tesla will be bearish. I don't know. I do not need to know. No one can predict the future. But if we actually lose this purple trend line, then okay, Tesla is not bearish in the long term anymore. At least it's going to be a trendless situation. It's going to be a sideways correction for the longer term, but uh, it's, it's not going to be bullish anymore. As long as we are above this purple trend line, okay, the trend will be bullish. We must not lose it. So this is why I'm telling you guys, we must react quickly right now as soon as possible, preferably this week. Right now, Tesla is trying to do a bullish Harami candlestick pattern. This pattern over here is not too reliable, okay? I'm not that convinced about it. Uh, it has roughly 50% chances of reversing, so I cannot say it's gonna actually re reverse. But uh, right now, I, I would say that Tesla must increase its volume. It must do a clear bullish structure in the one hour chart. If Tesla holds at the gap area, I think that's, that's going to be phenomenal. Okay, that's going to be a very good sign. If, it, if Tesla actually holds around this black line down here, it could easily trigger a double bottom chart pattern and 
go up and finally retest the 1k again, which is my first target on Tesla. The 1k is my first target, so I do believe we're gonna hit there. I just don't know how or when. Now, if you want a solid strategy to beat the S&P, I recommend to you guys to subscribe at my trading newsletter. This newsletter I have been working for a while with a bunch of, of my patrons and we developed a very nice and solid strategy to guide us in this wild market. Check our results over here. I am selling it separately from my patron services and if you want to check our profitability, just click here and you will find all the public data regarding our previous trades. Okay, check our profitability in the past 52 weeks, almost 80% while the S&P went up nearly 17%. You can check every single one of our trades over here, uh, more than 500 trades, all the data is here, okay? Average gain, average loss, win ratio, risk reward ratio, final results, number of positive weeks, or alpha, and much more. You can find everything here on our newsletter. So I really recommend you guys to join in our services, subscribe at our newsletters, and if you want to have access to our ongoing week, this is a privilege that only my subscribers will have access in real time, okay? So yeah, subscribe to my newsletter so you can have access to the best of my services, all right? So for now, all we can assume is that Tesla is, well, it is trying to trigger a bearish structure, but uh, this week is gonna be wild, so we can expect volatility, we can expect that Tesla will have a rough time, but if by any means it triggers a bullish structure, man, the $1,000 is gonna be just one step distance okay so yeah in my humble opinion i do believe tesla will react if you ask me personally my humble opinion nathan as a retail trader i think tesla will react however it's rough to say that right now because we see no evidence on the charts but if we do it's gonna be an amazing buy opportunity really really amazing near support levels in the long term just look at this chart every time tesla retests this purple line it gave us an opportunity to buy. So right now, the risk reward ratio is making plenty of sense. It is looking interesting. It is looking discounted. However, the only thing missing over here is a crystal clear bullish structure. I will keep you guys updated on Tesla. So again, remember to subscribe to this channel and click on the like button, my friends. Thank you very much. Stay safe. Farewell.